we will start with making the almond milk. Now what you do is you take one cup of almonds and you soak them in water, preferably overnight, but several hours is good too. And then you rinse them and strain them out. And that's what I'm going to be doing now here at my kitchen sink. I'm pouring the soaked almonds into the strainer and I'm going to rinse them here at my kitchen sink because soaked almonds get some kind of funky thing on the outside so you have to, you have to rinse them. Okay, I'm going to let them drain a little bit. I poured them into my blender jar. Now I take my four cups of water, so all you need is one cup of almonds that you were soaked and four cups of water, pouring that into the blender jar. Now, this is a high-speed blender that I have, and that does make the job a little bit easier, but it will work with any blender. You might just take a little longer to blend it. That's all. I'm putting the lid on nice and tight so I don't get a mess all over my kitchen, which has happened. Okay. I'm going to start the blender and keep it running. You will be able to see how it turns from the water to a milky substance, liquid. to be checking now to see if the almonds all look pulverized. OMG, it smells wonderful. The smell of fresh almond milk. Okay, the next step is to, I bought, I buy these mesh bags. They are paint strainer bags. You can get them at the hardware store. They're like about a dollar a piece. If you buy a fancy nut milk bag, which is what we're making here is nut milk, they cost nine or ten dollars a piece. So I heartily recommend these two dollar bags or one dollar bag. I'm going to take my bowl here and this is a little tricky. I have to open my bag here like that and I'm going to be straining out the almond pulp from the liquid. Okay, now is the fun part. You just squeeze the bag gently and all the milk will come out the bottom, leaving the, the wet pulp in the bag. Now the wet pulp can be dried out. You do not have to throw it away. It's very good food. It has protein. It's almonds. You can use that to thicken sauces, you can use it to, you can dry it out and make almond flour out of it. You can do that in your oven. And I've used them in cookies and things like that. There's lots of different ways you can use this almond pulp. You do not have to throw it away. Actually, we'll be using some of this later when we make our green smoothie. You can squeeze it as hard as you like and get as much until you feel you have enough out of the bag. Okay, I will now just rinse my hand a little bit. And here you can see the almond pulp that is remaining in the bag. I will just set that aside. The final step in making the almond milk is to pour it into a convenient jar so that you can use it in your smoothies, you can use it for your cereal in the morning, for your coffee, whatever you want to use it for. So I will carefully pour the milk into this funnel 
and into the jar. Oh, this smells so wonderful. There's nothing that compares to fresh almond milk or any fresh nut milk. I have to tell you, I used to buy uh, commercial almond milk. I used to buy organic commercial almond milk. And because of the carrageenan in the commercial almond milk, it gave me some unpleasant digestive issues. And as soon as I stopped drinking the commercial milk and started making my own, my issues totally went away. And it really doesn't cost any more than it does to buy the almond milk commercially in the containers. Plus, you don't have all those containers that you have to bring to the recycling. And that is almond milk. And next time we will be making, using this almond milk and making it, using it to make a green smoothie.